You just snagged yourself a brand new PlayStation 5 and are itching to dwell into its expansive gaming universe. Regardless of whether you're a fresh owner or have been rocking the console for a while, this compilation of 10 exclusive PlayStation 5 games promises to captivate your attention. Even if you've already dabbled in a few titles, there's a chance you'll stumble upon some hidden treasures within this lineup that you've yet to uncover. So let's jump into that exciting world of PS5 gaming together. Number 10. Demon Souls, developed by Bluepoint Games and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment, is an action role-playing game released as a launch title for the PS5. It serves as a remake of the original Demon Souls on the PlayStation 3. Renowned for its extreme difficulty, Demon Souls offers a brutal challenge without hand-holding or tutorials. Players must navigate levels with limited checkpoints, starting from the beginning upon death. The game rewards exploration and perseverance, but can be frustrating due to its lack of guidance. Despite its challenges, mastering Demon Souls is rewarding, especially for fans of the original PlayStation 3 version. Most gameplay mechanics remain unchanged, with updates primarily focusing on graphics. The remake features stunning visuals and improved performance, with options for enhanced frame rates. While some aesthetic changes may be debatable, the remake offers the definitive experience for playing Demon's Souls, showcasing the power of the PlayStation 5. Number 9. Returnal Taking full advantage of the system hardware, players can expect comprehensive haptic feedback support, immersive 3D spatial audio, real-time ray tracing, reduced load times, and various other visual enhancements. The gameplay mainly revolves around exploring environments, battling aliens, collecting power-ups, and listening to audio recordings that uncover past events. With each death, players experience a random flashback that adds depth to the narrative. Despite its remarkable sound design and addictive gameplay, the game is hampered by its significant difficulty. Returnal's roguelike mechanics require players to restart from the beginning after each death, a feature that may divide player opinions. While I personally accept this aspect, I believe adding at least one checkpoint before boss fights would greatly reduce frustration. Number 8. Final Fantasy 16. Final Fantasy 16 is here, exceeding expectations and revitalizing the franchise. Departing from traditional JRPG mechanics, it introduces optional ability rings that affect difficulty, catering to both seasoned players and newcomers. The combat system, reminiscent of Devil May Cry with hints of God of War's quick time events, maintains a unique identity amidst contemporary influences. Visually striking with its stylized anime aesthetics, Final Fantasy 16 embraces a distinct look. Immersive of environments from serene taverns to violent storms captivate players with rich detail. Special attacks are cinematic and over the top, reminiscent of Hollywood productions. This game takes a darker, more mature tone, earning an M rating, a first for the mainline Final Fantasy series. While some criticize its mature content, including sex and violence encountered in later side quests, the rating allows for effective exploration of adult themes previously restricted. Final Fantasy 16 follows the footsteps of R-rated superhero movies like Deadpool and Logan utilizing its mature rating to deliver a unique experience. Despite Final Fantasy's traditional appeal to a younger audience, Final Fantasy 16 represents a bold step forward for the franchise, embracing change and pushing boundaries in storytelling and gameplay to adapt to the evolving entertainment landscape. Number 7. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart Serving as a 16th installment in the series, the game continues the story directly after Ratchet & Clank into the Nexus. Rift Apart delivers the beloved elements of the franchise, including fun gameplay, unique weapons, and impressive graphics. Widely regarded as one of the best-looking PS5 games, it surpasses its predecessors with vibrant explosions, dynamic action sequences, and stunning scenery. The gameplay mechanics remain true to past Ratchet & Clank titles, with satisfying bulk collecting, automatic health and weapon upgrades, and manual weapon upgrades using Raritanium. Boss encounters are visually striking and contribute to the game's immersive experience. Experience. Rift Apart sets a new standard for storytelling in the series, with narrative depth comparable to animated movies. It embodies the essence of next-gen gaming, offering a fun, colorful experience that is sure to bring joy to gamers. While other games may come close, Rift Apart stands out as a top-tier title for PlayStation 5. Number 6. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, an action-adventure game developed by Sucker Punch Productions and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. It follows Jin Sakai, a samurai defending Japan during the Mongol invasion. Originally released on PS4 and upgraded for current gen, PS5 version boosts stunning 4K resolution at 60 FPS. Quality of life improvements include reduced loading times and enhancements to gameplay mechanics. These include increased gust of wind for easy navigation, enemy target lock, and haptic feedback support. Cutscenes 
now run in real time with improved lip sync when using Japanese audio. The game impresses with its visuals, combat style, and intuitive UI. Combat requires strategic use of sword stances against different enemy types, offering a challenging yet rewarding experience. The open world map is clean and informative, tailored to the game's focused experience rather than overwhelming with excessive content. The PS5 version includes the Iki Island expansion, making it the definitive Ghost of Tsushima experience. Number 5 Horizon Forbidden West An action-packed third-person role-playing game developed by Guerrilla Games and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Players reprise the role of Aloy, the courageous protagonist on a quest to explore the enigmatic Forbidden West. While the storyline remains elusive, the urgency to save the planet drives players to seek out a crucial AI known as Gaia. The game impresses with its captivating presentation and engaging gameplay, drawing inspiration from titles like Uncharted, God of War, and even The Matrix. Stunning artwork, animation, and immersive sound design enhances boss encounters, making every moment unforgettable. Combat offers a diverse range of strategies, from stealthy takedowns to explosive attacks using gadgets like tripwires and balloons. Players can scan enemies to identify weak points for maximum impact. Traversing breathtaking landscapes, whether on land or water, further amplifies the game's appeal. Enhanced by HDR visuals and 60 FPS gameplay on the PlayStation 5, the experience is unmatched. Despite occasional drawbacks like slow dialogue trees, Horizon Forbidden West remains a compelling choice for gamers, offering a thrilling sequel and an outstanding addition to the PlayStation 5 library. Number 4. The Last of Us Part 1 Initially, I wasn't convinced by the remake's visuals compared to the remaster, but side-by-side -side comparisons changed my mind. The visual overhaul in The Last of Us Part 1 remake is quite substantial, giving the game a whole new look with expressive facial animations and denser environments. While the original and remastered versions still hold up, they pale in comparison to the remake's immersive visuals. Despite the familiar core gameplay, the remake offers improved accessibility, better gameplay options, and additional features. While it doesn't exactly recreate the first-time experience, it comes close, evoking emotions during quieter moments in the post-pandemic setting. The inclusion of the Left Behind DLC enriches the story even further. For fans, the remake is a worthwhile investment, offering an unforgettable experience that every gamer should have. After the smashing success of the HBO series, The Last of Us Part 1 is poised to attract a new legion of fans. As for the sequel, opinions may vary, but it just doesn't hold up to the original's excellence. Yeah, I said it. Fight me. Number 3 Astro's Playroom. Serving as an impressive showcase for the new DualSense controller, the game exemplifies why the PlayStation brand is synonymous with gaming. With its nostalgic journey through PlayStation history, players are treated to a delightful trip down memory lane, encountering iconic characters and collectibles from years past. Beyond its nostalgic appeal, Astro's Playroom offers enjoyable gameplay that cleverly utilizes the DualSense controller's features. From vibrations to microphone interaction, every aspect of the controller is integrated seamlessly into the gameplay. Reminiscent of Mario Galaxy, the game features expansive environments bursting with vibrant colors and engaging mechanics. While lacking boss battles and a storyline, Astro's Playroom demonstrates Sony's strength in creating memorable characters and could potentially evolve into its own franchise. Its excellence underscores the contrast with Xbox's game offerings, highlighting Sony's prowess in game development. Number 2 God of War Ragnarok This game offers brilliant storytelling, unforgettable characters, epic boss battles, and stunning graphics, making it a must-have for new PS5 owners. Dismissing it as a walking simulator is unjustified. As a direct sequel to God of War 2018, it continues the story seamlessly, with Kratos and Atreus facing the imminent threat of Ragnarok in Norse mythology's epic conclusion. While many gameplay mechanics are familiar, Ragnarok presents a more polished experience. The combat remains engaging and requires skillful timing, with a diverse arsenal of moves and challenging enemies. Environmental puzzles persist. Although sometimes perplexing, they do offer rewarding solutions. The impeccable writing and believable character performances blur the line between game and movie. Visually, Ragnarok builds upon its predecessor, delivering stunning graphics and pushing the PS5's capabilities. Performance mode enhances the experience with a locked 60 FPS, improved lighting and sharper details, showcasing the potential of next-gen gaming. Although playable on PS4, the PS5 experience offers smoother gameplay and enhanced visuals, reaffirming its status as a quintessential God of experience. Number 1. Spider-Man 2. Bigger, 
better and better. As of this recording, 10 million copies have been sold in under four months. I didn't think Insomniac could top the original, but they managed to prove me wrong. Incorporating two main playable characters as well as supporting characters, Spider-Man 2 feels like a culmination of the last two games that came before it. I thought the inclusion of having to play as both Peter Parker and Miles Morales would be difficult to manage, but it actually works really well. Switching from one character to another is fast, and the story-specific missions blend the two adventures together effortlessly. Navigating the menus for special moves are easy as well. At first glance, the visuals appear exactly like they did in the previous games, but look closer and you'll notice a bit more detail this time around. More trees and more pedestrians litter the streets, lending to a more intricate and believable city. Both Spider-Mans look great, but I have to give it to the big action set pieces. They're huge, inspiring, and simply jaw-dropping. Some look like they were lifted straight out of a Michael Bay movie. If you played the last two Spider-Man games, then you'll be right at home here. The combat, although familiar, still feels great. Everything you remember from the last game can still be done here. The only difference now is that there are more of those quiet moments of discovery, interspersed between each stage. They're often heavily scripted, but do lend to a more cinematic feel. My one and only complaint is that some of the boss encounters can get a little repetitive. The first minute or two is pretty fun, but quickly becomes mundane when you realize there's really not much else to the fight. And of course, how could I forget to mention Venom? He doesn't appear until much later in the game, but when he does, man, he sure delivers. Insomniac made sure they got that character right. The suit looks great, and the voice sounds excellent, especially when you hear it coming from Peter Parker. Spider-Man 2 has to be one of the best sequels to any game I've ever played, and it might even be my favorite game so far this console generation. Sure, it's eventually going to make its way onto PC, but for the time being, PlayStation 5 is the only place to experience the web crawler's latest adventure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribing to the channel is free, and if you're interested in similar content, check out the links provided. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.